from sightseeing to cultural events and great food and entertainment and fun and exploration. This is Taste of the Town. Taste of the Town, brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. This is Taste of the Town with Marjorie Wordlaw. Welcome everybody, this is Taste of the Town. I am Marjorie and guess what? You are back in Marjorie's kitchen. I had so much fun with everyone and I decided, you know, let's do this again. So today, I'm going to make for you a little bit healthier dinner, okay? So how about a butter-basted Chilean sea bass? I'm going to have some herbs and garlic with it. Uh, then I'm going to make a nice spring salad with butter, lettuce, and asparagus, and fresh peas. That should be really nice. And then we won't mind so much if I then decide for dessert, we're going to have a fresh peach crisp. So that's going to be our dinner menu, but I also said it would be nice to have a little cocktail before dinner. So I have something that's really light. It's called a strawberry gin cocktail, and it's got like a little leaf of basil with it. I think you're gonna really enjoy that. So. First thing we're gonna do is get this peach crumble crisp going, okay? I have some pecans, and I'm just gonna let them just kinda toast a little bit. So, <clears throat> for the crisp, we have a quarter cup of light brown sugar. We also have a quarter cup of white granulated sugar. Half a cup of quick cooking oats. And then we have a cup of just plain flour. Now also, we're gonna put in like maybe a pinch of salt. Now, the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a stick of butter. So you see what I did? I just took it and I just cut it so that I could make nice little dices out of it. So we're just gonna put all of this in here. And you want to just kind of pulse it. So just enough to kind of get the um, butter chopped up in here good. All I'm gonna do now is just take this and we're gonna just pour this mixture right inside my pan. And you wanna just crumble this up. Let's see. Oh yes, oh see that's wonderful. Now you know, I know you can't smell this, but I can just smell you know, the pecans and the aroma that's coming from that. So actually, I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna just pour them in here, but I want them to just cool slightly. I'm gonna put those in there. So let's just pulse them, chop them. So we got that. And we're just gonna put those right in here with that. And again, let's just take it and blend it all up good. So you see, I took the peaches, I peeled them all. But anyway, so what you're gonna do is we're gonna just take the peaches and we're just gonna slice them. I'm going to put them into little individual pie plate dishes. We're gonna take the juice. You really need like three tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm gonna just use a little of the orange juice, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg. My mother, in most all of her pies, she always used cinnamon and she always used nutmeg. And I just find that I love those flavors, so I always use them. If you don't like them, omit it. You don't have to have it. But anyway, I have about a tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna stick it in the microwave and melt it. I also wanna use, just for a little thickener, okay? About a quarter of a cup of flour about a quarter of a cup, not maybe quite, of sugar. I got the melted butter, okay. Oh, that just looks so good. Here we're gonna do, we're gonna just take and just kinda evenly do these in all four. Here we have the crisp. 
Just gonna pile this on top. And let's get these in the oven. Again, this is set at 350. I think we just have less than 10 minutes and it should be ready. <gasps> oh, look at these, see? They are bubbly and brown and I can smell the butter and the peaches. Oh, you guys. Oh, that is going to be wonderful. I love it, I love it. I am going to have to just sample this a little bit and they have been cooling slightly and I believe if I kind of come over here, that Gary's not gonna be able to tell that I really kind of came in here and got a little bit of that, but I wanna get the crisp also. So let's see what this is gonna be like. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so delicious. You're gonna love it. That would be mine, okay? That's the first, that's mine. You guys, you gotta try it. It's wonderful. Taste of the Town, brought to you by Geico. This is Taste of the Town with Marjorie Wordlaw. These are fresh English peas. I love when you can find fresh ones. And I have some fresh asparagus. I told you that I'm gonna make a really nice green salad with asparagus and peas. But I, again, I need to blanch these. So I did wash these last night. And we're gonna blanch these in a pot of hot boiling water that has been salted. Again, they are only gonna just take a few minutes. And then the same thing with the peas. So again, I'm gonna only do like about half of that bag. You don't want the asparagus to become so wilted, but because this is raw and it's gonna go in a salad, I want it to be able to be cooked. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make the vinaigrette that I'm gonna use on that spring salad I was telling you about. So, I have a shallot. A shallot is much milder than an onion. I want about a tablespoon, so that's good. Now, you know what? Just use a mason jar. This is gonna be the best shaker and everything to put your uh, salad dressing in. We're gonna also, I'm making a citrusy vinaigrette because this is a spring salad. Oh! You know what, thank goodness, let me show you. Marjorie, Marjorie, Marjorie. At least when I cleaned this off, I did flip the little nozzle up. Otherwise, we would have had juice all down here. Here we are. Thank goodness, <laughs> that would have been a big mess, okay? I think that strawberry gin cocktail is calling my name. All right, so we got that. And now we're gonna zest a lemon, and really I'm doing about like a, a teaspoon. Now I'm gonna do three tablespoons of the orange juice, and we want two tablespoons of lemon juice, a quarter of a cup of the uh, white wine vinegar. So we're gonna add in that. Then we're gonna add in three quarters of a cup of the olive oil. You can also put parsley in this, but my Gary hates parsley. So I always substitute and I put cilantro, and this is like the fresh cilantro, but I love the convenience of this without having to chop up. So this is cilantro, a little salt and some freshly ground black pepper, okay? I just wanted a few minced up, you know, little pieces of um, garlic, but here we go. Now there's the garlic. Just finely kind of mince that up in there. See, shake it up really, really good. Now I'm gonna just taste. I'm going to actually add a hint of sugar because the orange juice coming from the oranges 
it's just not giving me the, the amount of sweetness that my tongue is calling for. So you know what, doctor it up, make it your own. And you know what you like, you know what your family likes. Mm. Now, that is wonderful. I have some uh, sprigs of thyme here. So you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and just take a few of the thyme leaves off. Doesn't have to be a lot. Now we're gonna uh, take spring onions. This is beautiful butter, lettuce, fresh peas and asparagus. We're gonna take that. We're gonna put this in as well. And then I have one tomato. I love how it will just give us, you know, a, give a little bit of color. I am going to now just take um, some of our dressing. So let's just toss this. Oh, that looks absolutely divine. So that I know I'm a little bit of everything. Mm. Mm. Let me tell you, I hate salad with greens getting in your mouth and your teeth when you're talking, but the taste, oh, it is wonderful. It is crisp, it's fresh, it's like springtime. You can do so many things with it. That becomes a good base for you guys, all right? So this is our Chilean sea bass. And I've already, you know, had it nice, pat it dry, because you want it, you know, dry as much as possible. And um, we're gonna season it with salt. You wanna make sure that you know you generously season it so that the flavor will really be going all through. Then I'm just gonna do some freshly ground black pepper. I always use cooking spray. And this is a canola oil that I get over at Costco. I just love it. And it also makes cleanup easy but it really does help keep things from sticking. I'm gonna have just a little oil to just start the process, okay? And we're gonna go. That's the sound you want to hear. That sizzle going on, that means that you have got your skillet and your heat pretty much where you want it, all right? And here we go. So I've got three cloves of garlic, and I've got some thyme sprigs, because we're gonna use this while we are basting it with the butter. Okay, you guys, now I'm gonna add some butter, and I'm gonna, this is gonna be about like two tablespoons of butter, okay? And I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna reduce this heat just a little bit, so I'm now at kind of a, medium to medium low heat is I'm gonna now take the garlic, just putting those cloves in there. And then we're gonna also just take these sprigs of thyme and we're gonna just put that in here, all right? And now we're gonna just let this slowly melt. And then all I'm gonna do is take the butter and I'm just going to continually take it and go over each of these fillets. And this is just basting it. What begins to happen is we're starting, because of the hot butter, we're starting to cook the top of it. So it's gonna be cooking from the top down. The heat that's on the eye, you know, from the stove top is cooking from the bottom up. And now my basting it, and doing it this way is going to be cooking from the top down. Aren't these fillets beautiful? I tell you, Chilean sea bass is such a beautiful, wonderful, white flaky fish. So let me pull out my thermometer. 
And then you kind of just gonna go into the deepest part. I think that's very good. So by the time I cover it with foil and let it rest for a couple of minutes, it is easily going to be there. And again, with this beautiful fish, I do not want to overcook it. At this point, also, you wanna just go ahead and discard the garlic. Okay, you see, I told you about presentation. I did the same thing with this beautiful green foliage because I thought how pretty against that white fish that was going to just look lovely. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna lay it here. Oh, that looks delicious. So make sure you put enough sprigs in there so that each one is gonna be, hey, let's add a little more of that golden crispiness to those, okay? There you go. Mm. Mmm, that is wonderful. Let me tell you, that is so delicious. As a matter of fact, you know, you see this little piece right here? I don't think that Gary is gonna notice if that. Mmm. Perfect. Oh my goodness, it is delicious. It's flaky, it's light. The flavors, you know what, basically with just the salt, the pepper, the butter, and then with the subtleness of the thyme and the garlic, oh my goodness. Now, you know what you can do? I did not do this, but you could certainly then take some fresh lemon and you can just squeeze it over here. Or you could even take lemon and let's say put it in this pan and let it just kind of brown because you know when you put lemon on a grill or in a pan, something releases more juices, and then you could just squeeze that over it. But right now, I really don't think I'm gonna need all of that. Plus, I have that wonderful citrus dressing that's gonna go with our salad. This is Taste of the Town with Marjorie Wordlaw. Welcome back, everybody. We have been having so much fun. Typically, Gary is an Irish whiskey kind of guy, so he doesn't like really, really sweet drinks. So although this one is gonna have a hint of sweetness, it won't be overpowering. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take three ounces, and actually, uh, I'm gonna gotta do a little long pour. So we're gonna take fresh strawberries and cut the hull off. Then I'm just gonna kind of slice it a little bit. Then you wanna take like a couple of leaves of basil. So I'm just gonna take a couple right here from, oh, don't you just love how basil smells? Oh, the aroma. Oh, I love that, I love that. All right, so let's just take them and then let's just kind of roll them because we're really gonna put them in and we're gonna just kind of muddle them a little bit, but let's cut them, give them a little help to start. And then just take this first, okay? And just kind of muddle that a little bit. We're gonna take like about a teaspoon of sugar. This is where I was saying, Gary, it's not gonna really like, really, really sweet, but this is not bad, okay? So we're gonna do like that. What we're gonna do after we kind of get this muddled, we're gonna take a little bit of this gin, add to this, just a little. Then we're gonna take some freshly squeezed lemon juice, okay? So now we're gonna add this in here, the lemon juice to that, and just get that good. I'm gonna add the rest of that Gin, and then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna shake this really, 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 really well. Ah! Oh my goodness. I gotta start all over again, okay? <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'm gonna shake it. All right, there we go. And now, 
just strain it back. Oh. Just make sure you hold this lid really good and tight, okay? Let's fill these glasses up with ice. And we have club soda, because what we're gonna do is top it off. So what we're gonna do is pour about like half a glass in each one. So now we're just gonna top it off. You see why I tell you that this is such a light and refreshing drink for summer? And we're going for presentation, so just make it pretty and add your strawberry, just a half of one, just take one strawberry and just cut it in half, a leaf of a basil, and let, let me taste it before I let Gary have it. Let's see. Oh, that is delicious. Gary, you can come and get your drink. This is strawberry and gin with a hint Irish of basil. I know it, but I also, I told everybody how wonderful you are about trying new things. So tell me what you think. Very tasty. It is. It's a, very light, very summerish. Yes, absolutely. You, you see what I'm saying? So be open-minded. And even if you have something that you just always love, Try something pretty. different. It is very pretty. It's very <laughs> light. You know what? And it's really nice. And so we can sit on the deck later Not and have problem. this. All right. So if you've got some good cocktail recipes or some good food recipes, send them to me. Definitely send your videos. And one thing, when you guys send me the videos, try to remember, put your camera in landscape mode. It fills up the television screen so much nicer. So if you can remember that, I know that my director and I know that my photographer would love that, okay? I will see you guys on our next Taste of the Town. Taste of the Town, brought to you by GEICO.